This might be the best Claude code skill I've ever used. And it all came from this viral post on X, which teaches you how to install it in just a few minutes. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up this skill and use it with Claude code to create incredible UI designs in minutes. If you don't know me, my name is Chris. And for the last 15 years, I've been designing apps and advising startups on product and design. With that said, let's jump straight into this Claude code skill and show you exactly how to use it. Build great products. Build great products. So before we get started here, I just want to show you the tweets that I found this skill from. And this is a tweet that has got over 235,000 views so far on X. This is from a few days ago, so this is a little bit old now if you're following stuff on X. But I wanted to show for everyone else who hasn't seen this, how to use this Claude Code skill to basically build incredible, beautiful UIs for your application. And you can see here's basically the output for like for use this front end design skill in Cloud Code, create a music player app and it's designed it like this, which kind of looks like something similar to maybe teenage engineering, but it's a pretty high quality like level of design just from that one prompt. And underneath here is basically the instructions to get started with this. And I'll put them in the description of the video down below so that you can get started with these front end skills in Cloud Code. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up a very basic website that we can kind of see the standard AI design style in, and then we're gonna use the Claude Code front end skill to redesign that page, maybe based on a reference, or maybe just to kind of redesign it based on a bit of information that it would know about our website. And so let's go over to Cursor and start building this website. So what I'm gonna do is we've just got a new terminal open in Cursor inside this Claude design skill project, which I've created just to kind of demo this. Let's run Claude in this project. And let's just ask it to create a landing page for us. So we're gonna say, let's create a simple landing page for an AI agency that builds and sells custom AI apps to businesses to save them time, automate processes and make them more money, research other AI agencies to create high quality copy that converts potential clients to book a call, follows best practice for agency landing pages to maximize the number of call bookings that we would get. Let's send that prompt to Claude Code so that it can get started building this inside of this project folder. So Claude Code has now built us this landing page here and what we're going to do is we're going to open this in the browser and see what this looks like this is what it looks like here so um we're probably we've got a bunch of kind of like ai ish kind of style design we didn't give it any design prompt it actually isn't too bad overall like it's not the purple gradients that you would usually see on like most ai design but it is using purple it's kind of defaulted to that kind of bluey purple um as it kind of always does it looks fairly basic like it's not too bad from a design point of view but let's use this front end skill to see if we can improve this design even further and what i'm going to do here first is just use use the front end skill and don't give it any context and just see what it comes back with. So first let's go back to the post and copy these commands over to Claude Code so that we can install this skill in Claude Code. We're just gonna paste this into our Claude Code chat here, basically to add this marketplace. Um, so that's successfully added that marketplace and then we're gonna go back again to this and then install this plugin, this front end design skill plugin, basically. Uh, so let's paste that in there. So install now, create distinctive production grade front end interfaces with high qu design quality, generates creative polished code that avoids generic AI aesthetics. Let's install that now. So we've now installed the front end design skill. And then all we have to do as per the kind of instructions in this post, so we just have to say as simple as use the front end design skill to improve the design for this landing page. So let's go back to Claude code and say that. So let's say use the front end design skill to improve the design of this landing page. And let's see how well this front end design skill kind of improves the design of the landing page without any guidance. And then maybe after this, we'll do another step just to see how well this front end design skill actually uses a design reference to improve the design for this landing page as well. Okay, so Claude Code has finished using the front end design skill to redesign our entire landing page. Let's actually see if it's done a good job. So here is our redesigned website and it looks 
pretty. It looks pretty good. It's pretty good here. There are some things that I would change, but like this is way better than what it was before. It's used like some really nice typography here. It's added this kind of glow as you scroll down. I think there was like animations. These kind of fade in. They have hover effects. The padding is decent. You have the glow on these kind of menu buttons. The styling is consistent. It's using black, white, and one color, which I love because that is a great place to start for any. Any good design, black, white, and one color, and then add in another color palette on top of that if you want to. This also aligns pretty well with this kind of target market of like AI kind of agencies and businesses who want to use AI to like build apps that can save them time and make them more money. It's pretty. I would say like there are some things that I would improve like. To add a call to the the call to action, this button here is not standing out on this black background, so we need to make that into like this blue style on this background, so that this is like a primary call to action above the fold. We've got a great subheading here. We also might want to add in like some social proof. It's added this here, but none of that is kind of like apart from the button styling is design styling. We've got these called out. I don't know what this kind of animation is in the bottom right here with this square. That might be a little. Error, it's done something there. I really like this kind of, you might not be able to see it on the video, but there's like a subtle grid kind of pattern behind these cards. But this is giving, you can see it a bit more here, there's like a subtle gray kind of grid in the background of this section, which is super nice. This I am loving this design. And this section is not so good. Okay, <laughs> so we've got some text laid out here, not particularly great. These need to be cards, this kind of uh, title and kind of alignment is off completely so it hasn't done a perfect job in these sections but for this section here for this contact form for the footer and for these top sections here with these kind of cards um, in this grid layout this is super nice we have some hover effects here we had the the fade in animations as well this is and this is just basically from using this Claude code front end skill asking it to use that to improve the design of your website. And what you can do with this is then you can then use it to follow a screenshot. Um, so let's do that as well. I'm gonna go over to Dribbble, um, which is one of the kind of main places I go to for kind of UI design inspiration. And let's say like AI website design. Um, and just find something like pretty nice that we can like take and copy here into our app. So I don't wanna go for anything that's like too, um, kind of AI-ish, like we don't want these kind of purple gradients or like any of this stuff. I want to do maybe something like this. Let's use this, um, let's use this, because this is kind of like quite a clean design style. It's got a couple of colors in here, uh, slightly different typography. I think it might be able to match this pretty well. Let's go back to Claude Code and let's say, let's use the front end design skill to improve the design of this landing page following the attached screenshot. And then let's paste in the file here that we copied to our clipboard. And then let's send that off to Claude Code to redesign this app based on that screenshot using the front end design skill and see how well it does. So now Claude Code has finished redesigning this website based on the screenshot that I gave it. It's said that it's gone from this brutalist version to a soft modern version, and here are the differences. So black, white, and cyan has gone to soft gradients and pastels, soft shadows with blur instead of harsh shadows, sharp edges to rounded everything, uh, monospace fonts to modern sans serif, which is chosen outfit, which is interesting, geometric icons to emoji icons, which it kind of seems to fall back to. I think it was still using emojis in this brutalist version. Terminal aesthetic to a premium SAS feel, data streams and grids to a floating gradient blobs, and hard transitions to smooth animations. So let's see what this actually looks like. We go back to our reference here. This is the reference that we gave Claude Code to work from. This is the previous version of the website. So let's refresh this website now and see how the design has improved or changed. So this is now the current website, which is pretty, it's got like, it's even got this kind of like soft scroll. This is looking really good. Like again, I, there's still some things I would change here, but there's some great hovers with so, that really soft shadow on there, the underline 
animation on these is so good. Um, book a strategy call, get started for free. I actually still don't really, I don't really like that emojis on here, but this is looking pretty good. Um, these are kind of breaking. Um, so that formatting is not quite right. And maybe the icons aren't showing there correctly. This is pretty good. This, this, this section is pretty good. And this section styling is still kind of messed up, but this really soft kind of pastel gradient background is super nice. I really, really like that. There's some issues here with the text over this, but to be honest, like this, this version of the website, this is better than 99% of, or this is better than a very large percentage of designs that you're going to get from other AI tools without using this front end skill. And so you can see just in this short video, kind of me demoing this front end skill here, even just by providing it a simple screenshot. If you wanted to do this a little bit further, you could create a design system similar to what I've kind of gone through that process in another video with Cursor of how you can create a design system in your code base and then use that in your designs. You could create a design system kind of framework and then use Claude Code using the front end skill to design your website following that framework. And that would probably yield even better results than this. But for now, this is incredible and this is already so much better than the generic kind of AI design. It's still gone back to purple a little bit. I won't lie there though. But that is how you can get up and running with this Claude Code skill in just a few minutes, just installing that plugin and then use the skill to actually create beautiful, incredible design for your app and website user interfaces. So I think this not only shows the power of this specific skill in Claude Code, but also it shows the power of Claude skills just in general, the ability to create your own custom skills that do a specific task incredibly well will just allow you to unlock even more potential from Claude Code as you're building your app. And this means that you can take your app designs to a level of quality that is nearly professional and just looks incredible and so much better than all of the purple gradients that you get every else. So if you are using Claude Code, I would highly recommend installing this front end skill and then using it to design your app as you build. And if you are building an app with AI and you want to join a community of other people building apps too, then you can head over to school.com forward slash AI apps. There's courses there on how to build and launch your app, scale it to real paying customers, build AI agents, mobile apps. So I'd love for you to check it out. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. It is a massive help to the channel and I hugely appreciate it. Thank you for watching and See you next time. Build great products. Build great products.